Hello guys, welcome to Sim UK. This is Far Loan Sales. I just got access to this game this morning. Uh, it's released later on today, 17th of May 2018. I don't know what the price is going to be, but um, it's my daughter's sixth birthday tomorrow. So we've got family coming down later. So this is really my only opportunity to look at this before uh, next week, really. So I thought, why not jump on, do a little bit of a stream, and hopefully everything's working fine, my audio and the video and everything. So this is a game from Okomotive and published by Mixed Vision. Um, it should be available in the next sort of six hours. It looks fantastic, but other than the fact it looks fantastic, it's got a wonderful art style to it. I know very, very little about this game. Um, it's a sort of slow burn environmental storytelling apparently, according to PC Gamer, and uh, Rock Paper Shotgun say a post-apocalyptic steampunk sailing puzzle platform simulation adventure, which is why I'm interested in having a look at this game. Um, I've got a call coming in from Nanny, which I'm not going to take. I'll have to ring her back after this stream. Anyway, uh, that's not my Nanny, that's my daughter's Nanny, but she's at school. I digress. Let's focus on the game. I'm going to read you what it says on Steam, and then we'll get stuck into this. Far Lone Sails is a vehicle adventure game. In a unique vehicle, you travel across a dried-out ocean following the tracks of a once-thriving civilization. Through an array of roadblocks and through hazardous weather, you need to keep your vessel going. Where will this journey take you? Are you the last of your kind? Key features being, master your vessel, maintain and upgrade your vehicle to overcome nu numerous obstacles and natural hazards. Discover a unique world, explore a desolate dried out seabed, follow the trails of your people and find relics and buildings that tell the story of a civilization on the run. Experience an atmospheric journey, let the sky full of clouds pass by and heed the wind that drives your sails towards the horizon. A zombie free post apocalypse, it's just you and your machine versus the big nothing so there you go that's the intro to uh to the game itself uh let's try and get on and um actually get some gameplay in here i'm just going to move this monitor around so i can see if anybody joins the chat and says hi um then uh, then i'll reply obviously because i'm nice like that right wrong game let's see where this goes i think it's keyboard only uh, I don't think there's any mouse involved. I don't know. I ought to have looked first, really. Just loaded it up two seconds ago, and that's what it seemed to convey. So very much like Schindler's List. Seems like only red is the colour that we can see. So this is our character. And uh, I'm not sure who this guy is. Presumably our father. Um, but yeah, this is it. This is the beginning. It's all going on. It's all going on. Wow. V. Whoops. Should I take it with me? Okay, so it looks like you can use the arrow keys. Spacebar is jump. V is uh, pick up and hold. Um, but you can also use WASD, so that's good. Oh, push. Push the door open. Okay. There's a red button there. Ah, okay. How do I get up the steps? Oh, I know. We put this down. Then we jump on this. And then we jump on the steps. Okie dokes. It is puzzle based. Are we going all the way over the top? I guess we are, because that bookcase appears to be in the way. What does X do? Zooms in. Do I need that light or something? Oh. Seems like we might. That seems quite an important thing. I don't know if it is. There's something here as well, look. What's this? Now we have two things. Which one's more important? I don't know. Just push them off the edge. Is that safe? Oh, 
Okay. Let's pick this up. I think the light probably is going to be more important. We shall see. We shall see if I need to go back for the suitcase. Let's bring some face cam in. Hi, guys. Hello. Looks like my camera's a bit high today. A bit too high, perhaps. Hello, seagull. I'm not sure where this is based, but this could easily be somewhere in Britain. Oh, whoa. Okay, that freaked me out a tad. Is it going to get any deeper? Apparently not. That's good. So the only colour in this game appears to be red. Which may well or may well not be significant. I'm sure. I heard something then. I'm fairly sure. Does it? Does it make noise when I speak? No. Uh, okay, it's just background stuff. I'm fairly sure that in the... Um, oh, wow. In the Steam um, images, there was more than just one colour, but I don't know for sure. Oh, wow. Are we, are we still going? Right, if I pop this here. Oh, look. Did you see that? Her dress stops her fall. What's this here, then? Is that something or nothing? Honestly, couldn't tell you. So, I'm guessing... Oh, how do I get to that? That does something. It is puzzle based. So that spins. I feel like attaching a rope or something to the front might speed things along. Hmm. Alright, we've got quite a few buttons here to try out. What's this one do? Oh, that does steam. That looks like a, a hose pipe, maybe? I don't know. Oh, how do I get up here? Oh. Ah. Ah. So, this button here takes whatever these blocks are up into the, what I assume is a furnace. The furnace creates steam, and steam creates energy. Still doesn't do anything. Okay. And I think we're away, guys. <laughs> Woo! So this this button here presumably is the accelerator. And I don't think I want to go too fast. Because I don't know what's coming. But certainly a bit fast. We're almost out of energy. Well, I'm liking this so far, I've got to say. It looks pretty darn cool. We've only got one box left, it looks like. Sorry, shouting. Now that looks like it's blowing red. So maybe there's too much steam, I'm not sure. But we are rolling. We are moving. Is this the brake? Yes, that's the brake. Okay, cool. Excellent. And if you look down the bottom there, uh, a little brake actually pops out when I hit this button. You see that? Alrighty. 
very unique very interesting steam seems to be red I guess too much steam is a bad thing oh I think we've run out of steam let's grab this pop it here And hopefully we'll get to the next checkpoint. We are seriously low on uh, on energy. So releasing the steam. Oh oh oh! Break. found some boxes look at this guys uh, how do I how oh gosh how am I gonna get there can I just go out the back I can oh yeah there we go there we go I kind of feel like maybe there's a system that I can apply by putting these boxes on those hooks and it will sort of automatically load the furnace I don't know and it looks like I'm thinking now as well that um, the hose pipe at the top is probably to put fires out um, when I've failed to manage the uh oh that wasn't clever Okay, that's going to be tricky. I'm going to have to figure that out as we go. Is this the last one? I think it is. Good job too, because we pretty much run out. I'm 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 almost certain there's a better way to do this. I just haven't figured it out yet. Right, let's get this ship a roll in. Oh, forgot to press this button. And then uh whilst we're doing that, I'll take these up in preparation for the next run. So we got full energy there, so we shouldn't be slowing down. Is there something in the way? It was an obstacle. Okay. How interesting. So we get a steam build up and that gives us a an acceleration boost it seems. I'm figuring it out very slowly. Bit of a steam boost to get up the hill. Then we're gonna need some more energy. Oh, brakes. Got some more boxes. I hope we get a little bit more effective with the boxes at some point because uh, this could be pretty time consuming and I don't know if this game works with a controller I, I rather suspect it doesn't but it's a shame because it would be very comfortable or more comfortable I think uh, if it did work with a controller those of you who use keyboard and mouse all the time probably won't have an issue with this but um, 
yeah, just from a comfort perspective, I, I feel like maybe a controller system would be a good idea. Especially if it's going to get ported over to uh, to console, perhaps, at some point. I don't know. It's very interesting so far. I'm fully intrigued. Steam boost at just the right time. Oh no, I let the accelerator come off. It's a complex machine this, isn't it? The audio is really nice. Oh, what's that? That's a different kind of... I could have stopped earlier, couldn't I? Oh, we're rolling backwards. Uh, handbrake on. This actually worked out in our favour, I think. Whoops. Whoops. Uh, so, I've swapped hands. So now I'm... Now I'm using the arrow keys with my right hand and uh, the V, B, V, X and C keys with my left hand and spacebar as well, obviously. Uh, so now I feel a little bit confused as to what I'm doing. I wonder what that barrel, that barrel's got to be for something important, something different, something new. Maybe that's the, uh, the power boost I was, or the energy boost I was referring to earlier. Who knows? But no box shall be left behind. We should take them all. So I suspect we'll probably need them. Game on. Bit of a steam boost. Got the furnace fired up. What a cool little game this is. I'm enjoying this. Trying to keep my head in the camera. Oh, oh. There we go. Speed boost to get up this big old hill. This game looks really cool. Going downhill. Picking up some speed now. Steam boost before it blows up. Oh, there's a box. Handbrake turn. Oh, there we go. Oh, cool. I suppose I could just push them like that. Although I think that might take too much in one go there, so I might I might need to deal with that slightly. That being said, I've actually got nothing, so... Full energy, but I think I may possibly have wasted some energy resources there. Put more in than the, uh, than the furnace can actually cope with. I love the little fire uh, sparks of fire coming out the back. That's pretty cool. Oh. Oh man, stop pressing the space bar. <laughs> Backfiring. Oh, can't push these ones, they're stuck. I thought we were going to hit that for a second. Keep going. Steam boost to get over the... Oh, no. That's a problem. How do you go backwards? Oh, I've noticed we've lost our lantern. Let's 
Let's bring that inside. That's how you do that. Okay, cool. So, how am I going to get over this thing? Hmm. Oh, it's a crane. Of course. And I bet you I need one of my energy boxes in order to get the crane to work. I bet you that's what it is. I'm, I'm guessing, obviously. Lucky I have one, I guess. Um, yes, so we're going up. Oh, nearly made it up there. Is it not going to be as easy as I think? It seems when I get up there, I can't jump again. So how can I ensure... Now that didn't work. Hmm... Oh, yeah, that w I mean, that would work. But how do I get on the top of this without this moving? I don't think I can. Right. Um, hmm. Maybe if I put the box down, it would give me enough height. Nope, because the box just falls this way. Right. Hmm. <laughs> First possible head scratching moment. Uh, I don't think there's any way up there, any other way up there, is there? Let's have a look down the other side here. No, not really. There's, there is this thing here, this thing at the back, but I don't think that's going to help me. I just kind of need to be on top of this. So, how... If I could go backwards, then I could use this platform to climb up there. That would make things easier. So maybe there is a way to go backwards. Let's have a look, see here. Um, hmm. There really doesn't seem to be... I think I'm just wasting fuel. And I can't see what's over here anymore. <sighs> that is definitely for putting out fires. Okay, well, we've, we've learnt something chair. Maybe a chair will do it. Maybe if I leave something on here because as soon as I step off it it goes back down. Oh, damn it. I thought maybe if I leave something on it it will uh, stay up. Which would, which would solve the problem. In fact, I'm kind of thinking that might be potentially the solution to our problem here. So let's pop that there. Let's try a lantern. Not 100% sure that's going to do it. But 
We still need to take one of these blocks with us. I'm fairly certain that's going to be a necessity. Damn it. Oh. Do you know I tried that multiple times? You saw me do it. Oh, maybe I don't need to take the energy with me. All right, fine. So we'll let that come down. Oh, that's a sail. I understand now. That's how we're going to motor along. Oh, gosh. Now there's something over here, I don't know what it is, but I want it. Let's see if we can zoom in. It's like a sweet. I, don't, I don't, really don't know what it is. Okay, right, well that took absolutely forever to figure out. And now we have sails. Woohoo! Progress has been made. And I can still get down here. Brilliant. So I'm assuming this is still a break. Yes, it is. How awesome is this? And we're now out into the open, the open beached area. Fantastic. We've, I see on the top there we've got um, that little red sail or flag or, oh, is that something important? Nope, going straight past it, okay. Post-apocalyptic. So yeah, the little red flag on the top of our ship there indicates which way the wind is blowing. And um, that helps quite well. 